my name is Ilana Wisby. I am a deep tech entrepreneur and director. I am the founding CEO of Oxford Quantum Circuits. And today I'm very excited to introduce you to OQC, as well as to showcase some of the um, incredible talent that we have at OQC. Um, and then I'd like to talk about some of the challenges that we have um, and how we are addressing them. Um, so without further ado, I will jump straight into it. Um, so at OQC, we build quantum computers. Uh, we build the actual hardware itself. Um, we are a spin out from the University of Oxford, from um, Dr. Peter Leake's um, research labs. He's our academic founder. Um, and we just celebrated our three years since incorporation um, the other day. So it's our vision to put quantum in the hands of humanity to solve some of the world's most pressing challenges. And this is really what drives us as a team. It's what brings us together. Um, we're all here, we're all passionate about um, making an impact, about making big changes. And of course, we're all super excited about the way quantum can deliver on that. Um, and just for, for reference, we're certainly not all quantum physicists, but we're, we're all very excited about that vision and that goal. Um, so how are we delivering on this vision and this goal? Well, uh, as I said, we work on the back end. We are building the actual quantum computer itself. Um, and this is really a very quick summary and snapshot of what we do. Um, so on the left there, what we have is the core of OQC. So these are our quantum bits. Um, there are qubits. They are superconducting circuits. They are built, built off the same underlying technology as standard superconducting circuits have done for a number of years but they have a very unique design. Um, so it's been designed from first principles to be um, simple, scalable and flexible, thinking about commercial applications. So you want high quality, scalable, controllable um, qubits. Um, it's really a thing of, of beauty. Um, and what we've basically done is taken all of that control wiring off the same plane. We're exploiting the 3D environment. Uh, we're removing ourselves from the constraints of that 2D space. And for those uh, quantum physicists out there, um, what we basically have is a quaxel shaped qubit. Our qubits are transmons. Um, on the other side of the qubit chip, we have a readout resonator. Um, and uh, this is in this picture here, um, statically coupled, but these qubits are very, very, very flexible. So we can do static, we could do cross resonance, we could do flux, um, tunable, lots of um, new and novel coupling mechanisms um, also. Um, what we basically then do is bring the microwave control lines down either side. So we have microwave control going through the chip, no physical touching whatsoever. Um, this means we have very strong coupling in this direction and basically minimal coupling in this direction, which means we have incredibly low crosstalk. Um, there's another academic paper um, on that coming out soon. Um, and we've also uh, proven incredible coherence times from this device. So typical average coherence times, um, T1s are kind of mid, mid hundreds, um, best cases up to 180 or so. Um, so we're very proud of that and it really showcases the, the promise of this um, technology and of our, our design. Um, and um, there are like 101 other incredible and really cool things um, about this qubit, these qubits and this technology, but I'm here, I'm at Women in Quantum, I'm not just talking about the amazing qubits we have, I'm also wanting to talk about the amazing women. So without further ado, I'll, I'll snap across to the right hand side of this slide. So this is really demonstrating that, you know, we build qubits, but it's more than qubits to build a quantum computer. And we do do a lot more of that um, as well. Uh, we, you know, can build many qubits, but to make it useful, we're also um, automating a load of the control um, hardware in development, so a lot of the simulation, the tooling side of things from the software, also on the control hardware as well. Um, we've got that kind of in-house um, bespoke as well as bespoke control software that we're we're really proud of. All of this drives down the error um, within within computation, so it's all very important. The list the list really does go on. Some of the things we are most proud of, well, we've got the UK's most advanced quantum computer and it's the only one commercially available in the country. To date, we've been able to showcase end users and partners running the algorithms on our devices. Um, we've done wafer scale independent fabrication with very, very good precision. We've won three significant UK Innovate UK grants into the company, which we're very proud of. And it's a huge amount of work. For me personally, I've grown this team from, from zero to 15 um, and I'm very proud of, of where the company is to date. 
we have an incredibly exciting future ahead of us. Um, we will be moving in to our new shiny laboratory um, very, very soon. And that will be actually bringing the team back together post COVID. So we're very excited about that. We will be scaling both the technology and the team. Next year, we will be launching quantum computing as a service. And towards uh, the end of this year, we'll also be closing out our Series A. So that's really a snapshot of, of OQC. Um, and what I said I'd do next, and what I'm very excited to do, is to showcase some of the incredible women that we have at OQC. And this is just a subset of them. I don't have, have time to talk about um, all of them. And I'm going to be very honest. I am uh, going to do something very controversial and I'm going to be up front and tell you I'm going to talk about myself first. Um, we're notoriously poor as women at talking about ourselves. Oh, we cannot see your slides. What? This is rubbish. Thank you, Anka. <laughs> My sidekick in the making, who is slide three. What am I going to do? We literally just tested this. Everybody is confused. Everybody is concerned. What can I do? I'm going to get creative. What can you see? Oh, I'll share the wonderful slides after. I'm, I'm going to try. I have. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I think I'm back. Hello. <laughs> OK, um, so that was a complete disaster. And I apologize that you couldn't see my slides. Um, and then you couldn't see me, which made it even worse. So I now have two minutes and 13 seconds to tell you everything that I wanted to tell you in 15 minutes. Uh, so you've heard about all of our wonderful technology. I was then going to tell you about myself. Um, and then I was very proud of the fact I was going to tell you about myself. But I'm not going to tell you about myself now because I want to tell you about the incredible other people that I have. So I have an incredible woman called Kesa. She is a software developer. She's never done quantum computing in her life, but she's now doing quantum computing with OQC. Um, we will share these slides and you can read all about the wonderful Kesa um, after. Um, key message Kesa, if you are not in quantum computing, go into quantum computing. You can learn if you are supported and OQC is very supportive. Uh, next up, we have Anne Claire. Now, Anne Claire has been in the chat desperately trying to solve my problems for me, and she is my true super heroine. Thank you so much, Anne Claire. She has an incredible background. Again, not quantum physics. Um, she previously did a degree in law, worked at the European Union, has also done incredible other work in startups before joining OQC. I don't have slides now. Um, don't worry. I will, I've given up on the slides. I'm just trying to make the most of my minute seven seconds left. So diversity at OQC is really, really important. Um, you know, it's something that's very important to me, and I think it's required for a successful company. Right now, um, you know, I'm really proud of the team that we have, um, but we could be doing better in many different ways. And we are choosing to uh, focus um, on recruitment. I have some wonderful stats here to show you, which unfortunately I can't, about the types of um, applicants that we get for our roles and Pretty much all of the technical roles that there are in single, single, single digit percentages as to how many women we get apply, um, which makes me really sad. So we're focusing on making sure we can recruit diversely and we are objectively being as um, as non biased as possible in our recruitment process. We anonymize all of our CVs. Um, we also have undertaken um, and are undertaking company wide bias training um, and um, are monitoring our impact through our stats. I'm going to plug as best I can. We have some roles live now. Please go check them out at careers.com. We have an FPGA design engineer. We have a VP of technology. We have a compiler engineer and there will be so many um, additional um, positions coming up across the next year too. With that <laughs> complete um, experience. I will send the slides out to you after. I'm so sorry. And um, thank you very much. I'm